<laughs> Couldn't resist. I'll probably be a new uh, profile pic when I see it. So I know, my smile is kind of half awkward there, so I'll I'll take a look at that later on. <laughs> I like the awkwardness. I want it to be cheesy. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, to play rough, Shippo giving you the action live as it happens. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast so far. Lord knows we are. I, I've heard this matchup's been pretty bad for Gengar. Really? Yeah. It's just that we all can do a lot of stuff to kind of abuse Gengar. We know that Gengar, outside of Burst, has to do a lot more work to rack up those hits. Oh my god, all has those to combos. Combo yeah. There's a reason these combos are called handbreakers. Like, your when your basic bread and butters are called handbreakers, mm -hmm. You, you have oh. an execution. You got yeah. work to do. Like everyone has like an execution like thing. Like oh, you gotta you get you know execution gets better, get better like this. G uh -huh. Gengar's is like you gotta get over this execution cliff. Yep. And then the plateau, you gotta like this little plateau you gotta climb. I I remember Madlock once told me he said I a lot of people have said to me I've seen the stuff you've done with Gengar. Please teach me, Sensei. Please teach me. And then he tries to teach him, and they see all the work they have to put in, all the inputs they have to do, and they say to Madlock, wait, this is crazy. Ain't no one got time for that. Exactly. I don't, I don't know, like Lucario. What? Well, exactly. I'll just do the same amount of damage with Lucario. Madlock posing for posterity. Poken Club. Oh, that's adorable. Two. Uh, three cute, five me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Gengar versus Weavile, as expected. It's going to be a slobber knocker. I got to so, work on my The winner of this match actually goes on to fight uh, Whitey White. Oh. That'll be fun. <laughs> That'd be a match I'd like to call. Whitey White, also confident he can do well in this tournament. So Weavile versus, uh, excuse me, Togekiss or Rotom, which is he going to choose? I'm thinking he'd go with Togekiss as well. Speed boost is always handy. Yeah, Whereas some that's... assists tend to be a little more situational. Yeah, I mean, the speed boost is insane. And then it also gives you a little health too. Ooh, that conversion just popped him up wow. twice. Wow. Every damn day, Caught definitely. Him. Oh, and, and there's the input. Oh. But well, the reason those are harder is each of those mini punches is a release X motion. Yeah. That's definitely something that would be difficult for me to do. Oh, that hits high. It does. Wow. Gang guy. That is. I love it. Oh. You did not punch that time. To watch a good Gengar player is to watch art. Because it's not easy. And when you see it done right, it's beautiful. But still, every damn day, with all Ooh, the momentum in the world. The hypnosis, what hits him out of the hypnosis? Caught him. That was a decent call, I'm not gonna lie. That was beautiful. Every damn day, I, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. So, I don't know, what do you think Madlock's gonna do to kind of change the situation up a little bit? It's a good question, my friend. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I do not know Gengar at all. So, I, I, I could not tell you for the life of me. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I gotta be honest. This man just gotta work on his little the defense a little bit. He, he keeps getting opened up. By Weavile, keeps getting hit by all of these like you know, fair trap situations. I don't know. I, I, every damn day, he's just he's having a great day today. I, I I've never day. seen him play like this before. Then you get cheesed out actually a lot. This is the first I've seen him play super solid. And now we got a burst Gengar almost on our hands. Uh oh, burst Gengar carries oh, no, players. This is a dead character. Oh, he's not a burst. Player. Walks forward into it, and yeah. I think I think that um uh, Ed actually got uh, hit out of something because the exhaust frames knocked him out. Mm -hmm. And if you get hit by the exhaust frames, it can only buffer one input. So it can only what? Buffer one input. Oh. Next to the direction. Okay. So if you hit back Y, you'll only just get back. If you hit up Y or like eight Y, you'll, you'll just, just get, get Y. Well, uh, no, you're just gonna go up eight. Oh. So if you see someone stand awkwardly there, like high stancing or low stancing. That's why. <laughs> Ooh. 
that's that's a uh, mean look, right? Sorry, he um he has shadow stealth out kind of when he permeates out and switches the dive thing. It was aston it's a astonish is what you're saying. Astonish is the yeah. instead of the face. Okay. Yeah. Oh, walking Signal slash, although good, puts you to free flow afterward. Every damn day, with a, really in a good position right now. Now he's got Tokus, he's gonna rush him down. Not, or back up and back with these uh, JYs. Astonished Ooh. miss, but still. My, my. Oh, Ooh, the good, ice frames, but... good, good hesitation from every damn day as he takes the first game. That was beautiful. Down the counter pair something there. <laughs> think, think maybe Ed didn't know that that would happen? He had an idea. Because the, the way he converted off of it had to be planned. And Reza coming in to give Madlock some words of advice. Uh, that is Meza. Saw the cap and I thought it was Flager. But yeah, that, that was Meza. Not everyone with a cap is Flager, man. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we in it again. So, what do you... Th every damn day, opting to stay with Togekiss. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mad Luck's got an uphill climb. If Mad Luck can't pull this out, every damn day's momentum is going to continue to snowball. Mad Luck, no slouch. Oh, what? That is some tricky footwork right there. He's going to try to do a lot of, you know, CDCs to kind of mix them up a little bit. Using the invincibility from the ghost dashes that are in this game. And the next game. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> DX. Sidious <laughs> forward dash has the uh, the ghost invincibility. DX is still this game. It's still this game. Just it's just next iteration. Yeah, it's it's just this game plus, if you would. It's the next bounce patch. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the trend of ghosts having invincible dashes just phase through, you know. Ghost typing. Claw from uh, Weavile is very good in field phase. What is that, his forward wide? No. Uh, that I, I... I had that written in my notes somewhere, but that currently escapes me. Here comes Gengar! We should, we should have, like, a little theme song whenever Gengar starts to advance. Ooh. Don't kick right into a toxic. But every damn day showing extreme dominance on this and not even able to just build first. And he's probably gonna keep it that way. He's just gonna lock him out as best he can, just throws him, I guess. Very good. Guess the extra 30. Got match oh, point here for him. Go right underneath. How do we start this up? Oh, Is I think it, he's escaped. Catch him? He escaped. Yeah. Oh no! no! He oh my he god! He the spacing. Oh my god, and that is match, ladies and gentlemen. Roxo the Savage not impressed. Every damn day moving to winner's finals of his pool. Already? Yeah. Never. Wow. Yeah, it's Whitey White. It's going to be their uh, winner's finals. Really? Yep, yep. Oh, wow. These two, very storied rivalry, know each other inside and out. You would probably know better than me.